Hi guys, my name is Daria. I am a nurse and welcome to my channel. So, hey guys, I'm if you are a returner, I'm sure you noticed I didn't say student nurse and that is because I am Daria Gregory RN. Um, so as you can tell by the title, I'm just going to tell you guys about how my NCLEX went and everything that I used to study and we're gonna jump right in. And sorry in advance if you hear my fan, it is summertime in New York, I am hot, and I need a little bit of wind in here. All right, let's jump right into it. So, first I'll start off with um, telling you guys everything that I use for, for the NCLEX, and I'll start from my least fave to my very fave. So first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the quick facts for NCLEX. Um, written by Regina M. Callion. And so the reason why this is my least favorite is because this is a book of facts. It's more so for content. And if you feel as though you are not studying content, like that's not what you need help with, then this is not going to be for you. Like I was reading through and I'm like, uh, I'm not really getting much from this because I'm the type of person that studies by putting it into practice. So it didn't really help me that much. But I will say that if you need a way to remember content, a way to brush up and you don't want to go through your textbook, I think this is a really good resource. And I believe it was about, I want to say 20 to $25. Um, I, I, I don't, or maybe it was 30. It might've been $30. Um, and she has her own website and I wouldn't say it was a total waste, but I didn't get anything from it but like I said if that's what you need you need content you need to remember certain things then this might be the resource for you um and in my next video I'll be giving some things away so make sure you stay tuned and subscribe because I'm most likely this is one of the things I'll be giving away so the next thing I use and of course I'm sure you guys have heard about it is the Mark K lectures and but I want to say this though for you can't just watch Mark K and think oh he's gonna solve all my NCLEX problems like you have to put in the work like so this is my dedicated NCLEX notebook um I started off our school gave us a three-day review with Elsevier so I had that and then this is where I wrote all of the notes for the Mark K lectures so you really have to sit down listen to those lectures and guys let me tell you those lectures are not short um, most of them are an hour and 30 minutes to two hours long and there's 12 total so you really want to sit down and take your time with the lectures um, it took me four days to get through all 12 because I was doing two a day so if you're that type of person that needs to spread it out even more than that then you need to jump on on it um and you know what's so funny so I, I was supposed to take my end class on july 5th but i ended up taking it on june 27th because i was getting burnt out studying so i was following a three-week plan taking my time whatever and then all of a sudden i got this urge i'm like no i need to take it sooner then i cut all the way down to two weeks so i was like really picking up the pace really really picking up the pace um mark k is great listen to him i will say that i feel like i didn't get the quote-unquote normal type of NCLEX, so the stuff he taught didn't really help me as far as um some of my questions but i do think that he helps you brush up on the material and he gives you great ways to guess through a question if you have to so watch it guys if you have time watch it um okay so let's get to the number one thing that i did and that was archer yes i brought archer I was not paying for you, world, y'all. I wasn't doing it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said if I fail the first time, then I'll get you, world. But until then, I'm paying for Archer. Um, I got the 60-day package, and I got the lectures and the questions, and I used both. Like I said, I was following a three-week study plan, but then I cut down to two, uh, two weeks, so I really had to kick it into gear. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So a lot of people are saying Archer looks exactly like their exam. I wouldn't say that for myself. Like I said, I feel like my exam wasn't very quote unquote normal. And I'm not going to be telling y'all what I had on the exam because I don't want to get my new license snatched. But um, we'll talk about that a little later. Um, so yeah, for Archer, I was getting very high on all the readiness assessments. Um, I took my CAT exams. My highest score was 80s, but trust me, I was getting like 70s and 60s as well. So don't let that discourage you um, because I'm something tells me that NCLEX pass rate is not like 80s. I think it's like 
probably like 70s because you know you trend it's not like you get a graded score um i what i will say though guys this is my biggest advice make sure you're doing multiple case studies at a time and building up your endurance you want to like i would say try and do 10 back-to-back -back case studies because i'm telling you do them case studies y'all trust me um what i will say archer case studies did look exactly like nclex archer case studies yeah my multiple choice not so much but those case studies were right on so do as many as you can and just build up that endurance because it took me three hours to get to 85 questions, y'all, because I was reading so much. And I started panicking because I'm the type of person who it only takes me usually an hour and 30 minutes to get through 85. So when I saw three hours had passed, and mind you, you don't know when you're going to cut off. So I'm like, if I have to get to 150, oh, it's time to, it's time to speed it up. So towards the end, I was like clicking, clicking, clicking. I mean, mind you, still paying attention, but I was reading things five times over because I was that nervous. I'm like, no, I can't read everything five freaking times. Like, I'm not going to make it. Um, so keep that in mind. It took me three hours to get to 85 questions, and I pray that it cut off because if I had to go to 150, I don't know if I would have made it. Um, so yeah, do your practice as many cases as you can. Build up that endurance. Um, I would my advice is to be doing minimum eighty five questions a day. There were some days I did three hundred questions, like I said, because I went from three week to two two week plan. Um, but the most questions you can do, I think the the better that will be for you. Um, so that is my advice as far as using Archer. Like I said, I did buy the review, the videos as well. And I used the videos like I was following their three week study plan, but I was like, oh no, I can't do this anymore. So <laughs> I was started watching videos at 2.0 speed, only the videos I really needed. And, but I felt like the review helped. I felt like the review helped. Excuse me. So now let's get into the actual NCLEX. So... Like I said, I took it June 27th, and I live in Queens, but I went to Staten Island because dates in New York are hard, And but I don't mind Staten Island, my family out there, so it didn't matter. So, like, if you're okay with traveling, then do it, whatever. Um, I got there an hour early, and I suggest you guys do the same, like, an hour to 30 minutes early. You want to plan for things to go wrong. That's exactly what I did. I planned for heavy traffic. There was no traffic, but I planned for it. Um, and you want to sit down and eat and calm your nerves. Maybe you want to go inside the building, see what it looks like. Um, I didn't go inside the Pearson building because it was locked. But I just stayed in my car, honestly. But it was worth it to get there early, in my opinion. So get there early. Have your breakfast with you in the car. Um, I did, like, 20 questions before I went in because, for me, I like to warm up my brain. So I did, like, 20 practice questions. And that's another thing I like about Archer. Like, you have it right on your phone. So I did 20 practice questions. Not too much where you kill yourself. You just want to be like, hey, brain, wake up. We're here. It's time. It's Anklix Day. Um... So yeah, that was great. I had my breakfast. Um, so it was it was it was chill because I was there and I wasn't nervous that I was gonna be late because I was already there. Um, so this is why I say I feel like I didn't have a normal NCLEX, right? So start at the NCLEX right out the gate. I didn't know what the heck the question was asking me. Like I never seen what it was talking about. And I was just like, oh my God, wait, but everybody is saying it was supposed to go from easy to hard, not hard to easy. So I'm like, huh. And my test was going hard, 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 hard. And I'm like, dang, like, am I going to pass this? Like, and then towards the very end, it got easy. And I was like, oh my God, are they scaling me back? Like, am I doing bad? Um, but guys, you cannot think like that during the NCLEX because you're going to psych yourself out. I'm telling you. I would catch myself being like, oh my gosh, am I gonna, am I doing okay? And then I'd be like, forget that. That question's done. Keep moving. Keep moving. Um, so if you catch yourself doing that, keep moving. You can't think about the question you already answered. You can't go back. And I passed. So I guess it is what it is. I didn't have the normal easy to hard progression, but I still did fine. Um, so I'm just saying that to say, if you go in and take your test and you notice it's not what people on social media have been saying don't freak out we do not create the NCLEX we don't know what they're doing just answer the questions and have confidence in yourself and let me just add waiting 
48 hours for that exam grade was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. When I tell you I was nauseous, stuck in bed, couldn't do like any errands or anything like that because my anxiety was so bad. Like, but as soon as I got my pass, everything just faded away. Like, come on, Pearson, you're dead wrong. Don't do that. <laughs> But I got my good pop-up and everything was okay, but I don't believe in that good pop-up stuff. So I was really nervous. And of course, nursing board takes forever to post New York licenses because I know some states, they could just look at their BON instead of waiting for Pearson. But um, no, New York takes at least two weeks. So I was just stressed. <laughs> and... <clears throat> If you are going into nursing school and you're just watching NCLEX videos just because it's fun for you, this is my advice. NCLEX study starts now. NCLEX study starts when you start. Because the more effort, the more work, the more time you put into your studies, the less you have to catch up on for NCLEX study. That's why I felt like I didn't need much content because I was busting my booty to try and remember all this content from when I first started you know the more you study like when you try not to cram things or try not to memorize things that stuff sticks way longer than the stuff you do try to cram and memorize so and click study study starts now and so that should be comforting to you the more you accumulate over your nursing studies the the less you have to study for NCLEX, in my opinion, as far as content. Like, once you get to NCLEX, it should really just be, how do I answer questions that I don't know? How can I take an educated guess when I don't know? That is what really helped me. Because, like I said, I felt confident in what I had already learned from school. And then those videos I was watching was a refresher. I didn't need to open my textbook again. I didn't need to do certain things. Um, I caught myself when I was studying, the things I was looking up is things that I never learned. Because rem remember, guys, it's national test. Like, you're not going to know every stinking thing, and that's okay. Um, but yeah, so if you're not taking NCLEX yet, that's my advice. Start now. And I don't mean NCLEX questions. I mean start now by putting in the work now. So you can ease into NCLEX later. That's my biggest, um, my biggest advice for that. But yeah, guys, I'm just waiting for my license number. Big New York nurse. Um, I'm so excited to take you guys on my next journey um, as far as finding a job, interviewing. And no, I will not be changing my name. I will always be future nurse because I will always be looking to better myself in my career. So I'll always be aiming for the future. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about NCLEX or anything in general, guys, please feel free to comment. Like I said, I'm going to be giving away some books that I used during my nursing school career. Um, so stay tuned for my next video. All that information will be in my next video because I want to give back because I receive so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. I'm going to have my vlog piece at the end. You know, I like putting my little vlogs in. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're about to take your NCLEX, good stinking luck. If you're about to start nursing school, good stinking luck. Um, you'll be fine. Honestly, it's hard. It's worth it though. I felt so loved when I finished everybody at the end of the tunnel waiting for me it, it was beautiful and oh yeah that's another video i'll probably post i had a nursing school party so i gotta share the details with y'all um but yeah guys so thanks so much and subscribe so you can get all the upcoming videos you don't miss any but yeah thanks for watching guys i really appreciate you bye all right good morning y'all it's 5 30 a.m and it's nclex day and I'm really scared, but I'm gonna pass. I will be a nurse this time, one time. I am, I live in Queens, but I'm driving to Staten Island, so I'm heading over now. My test is not till eight, but wish me luck. All right, y'all, I'm back home from my NCLEX, and I'm not gonna talk on it until I get my grade. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna talk on it. But um, I got the good pop-up. I'm looking at it right now. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. It's going to be a long two days. A long two days. Good morning, y'all. Yes, I look insane. I know, but I have to get the real reaction. I just woke up. My NCLEX results are ready. My heart is beating. I'm so nauseous. Let's do this. 
I did it. I did it. I did it. I couldn't even look. I had my boyfriend look. I couldn't even look. Guys, it's official. Daria Gregory R and